All right, so we're checking out the only game where if there's not enough Florida man in the news, you can just make more Florida. It's Universe Sandbox 2. Universe Sandbox 2 is a game where numbers usually don't mean anything unless it's the freaking Earth, and then numbers piss me off. I say this because today, I want to make the Earth ridiculously large. We made the Earth bigger than the Sun, but quite honestly, that's not good enough. I want to make the Earth so big that everything else pales in comparison to it and worships its giant girth. However, there's a big problem with this. Allow me to demonstrate. The problem is when you reach right around 14 Jupiters of mass. So you're at 12, you go slightly past it, and then you get a sad Jupiter. See, this is what happens when you don't stay in school. What ends up happening is the Earth ends up taking after its cocaine abusing drinking and driving older brother Jupiter ends up growing up looking like this. That's not good enough. I need to have the Earth gigantic, but still looking like Earth. See this here? The Earth, while it can still make good choices, the Earth when suddenly it endorses teenage pregnancy. Good choices, teenage pregnancy. Why does this happen right in this region? I don't know. Now we need to make this happen because Florida man needs a place to put his tall boy natty light, but also because I want to see what happens to the solar system when the earth is so large that it takes up, you know, an entire orbital section. And that is why we got to start screwing with the density. You're going to notice just like giving the earth some Viagra, reducing the density makes the earth get much bigger. The problem is there's a sweet spot. Because if you go too far, eventually the Earth just gives up the will to live. See, Jupiter didn't give up the will to live. It just made bad choices. I don't know how. <laughs> but so far, so good. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, too, if as we start making the Earth freakishly large, the sun begins to interact with the surface of the Earth in a different way, and we begin to see different surface temperatures, because as of right now, the Earth is pretty friggin' big. Come on, baby, you can do better than that. Oh, oh, it's pulsating. It doesn't want to go any bigger. This is interesting. I have found the limitation of the E numbers right about here. This is about as far as you're allowed to go. That's okay, though, because we've got plenty of mass because the Earth has so little density. Just messing with the mass a slight bit increases the size of the Earth to such a spectacular amount. So to give you an idea right now, at just how big the Earth is, yeah. Okay, before we made the Earth, you know, like the size of the sun. This time the Earth is like 30 times the size of the sun. Okay, um, well, this is new and exciting. I never really reduced the density to this much, so, uh, I'm gonna hope that all that stuff that's leaving off the Earth was things we didn't need. You know, loot boxes, demonetization, Fortnite, all that stuff. It's going off of the Earth right now. All the good stuff staying behind. Bud Light and Dodge Rams. Okay, well, you know. Um, I mean, the Earth's smoking a lot, but other than that, it looks to be pretty healthy. It's like vaping, okay? So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. So I think we can just go ahead and, uh, keep bringing the mass up. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Surface temperature's, uh, getting a little hotter, probably because, you know, the Earth is much closer to the sun now, since it's like 8 billion times the size of you. Well, it's not that much bigger. It's what, 100 times the size of what it used to be? I like how it's not so much that the Earth appears to get bigger, it's that everything else in the entire solar system just gets smaller. This is the new size difference, even though the Earth is just pissing out sadness right now. Like, what is all this? What happens Like, what happens if I put a moon behind the Earth? You won't even be able to see it because it's so damn big. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Add moon. Oh, shoo! The Earth is so big that the moon spawned inside of the Earth. That was... What the hell? Wow. The moon hit the Earth and it pissed the Earth off a lot considering the size of the surface area. What do you know? The moon hit Africa. How come every single time something hits the Earth, it always hits Africa? All right, we got plenty more mass to go. 
Hey, it stopped spewing out chunks. Oh, never mind, we're back. I'm hoping I can make the Earth so big that this shockwave of death won't reach Florida. We're at five million kilometers. The Earth, uh, the Earth is pretty friggin' annoyed. It likes to stay at right around 400 degrees Celsius. Somehow there's still water on the surface, I'm not gonna question it. Never mind, it's ice now. Look at the size of this freakish, mutant, cancerous Earth to- What the hell just happened? The hell just happened to my Earth? Who screwed my Earth up? All right, the previous Earth didn't do well enough in school. That's why it ended up dying. One moment it was sitting at, what was it, five million kilometers in radius? Next moment it was jumping out the window in the middle of the night and taking his parents' car. Okay, maybe we worked at this the wrong way. I'll do the mass first. We'll get to right about where we're allowed to be at, which is right about, we can go a little bit further. You can get like almost to like 12 Jupiters of mass before things start getting crapped on. All right, right about there. Okay, now we can start messing with the density, which will start increasing the radius. If I can't get this Earth at least one million times the size of a normal Earth, I'm not gonna be happy. Now, you don't wanna just yank all the density away all at once, all right? You gotta kinda ease it in there, all right? Nice and slow. It's like torturing any civilization of people. You don't you don't drop the hammer on them all at once. You take things away slowly before they realize. It's basically what it's like uh, working for the man. They take away your paycheck. They take away your benefits. <laughs> oh hell yes, we're able to get way farther than we were before. I mean, let's let's that's that's excessive. <laughs> Chart wise, here's where we are at this point in time. Oh. Is Florida bigger than the sun? It's what I've always wanted. Hold on, while the earth is dabbing on the sun, I've got to see here. Oh, there's, there it is. I'm pretty sure that the penis of the United States is now officially bigger than the sun. We're not done yet. Now earth, you know, it's, it's doing some things. I'm not really sure what all this is. 627 degrees Celsius chunklets coming out of it. All right, Earth, just, just listen. Just keep it together, man, all right? We can get way bigger than this. I know we can. We're 10 million kilometers right now. We're almost there. We're almost at an entire orbital size. Like, it's the distance between the sun and Mercury. <laughs> like, does it, does it still orbit around the sun, or? Like, are we, how does it, does it mess with the, with the solar system? I mean, everything looks okay. I, I don't know what the hell happened, but we're at 22 million kilometers in radius right now. Ah, uh, what the hell? Are things like crashing into the earth? Something I hadn't thought about was that the earth is now so big that when Venus tries to give it the on your left treatment, it's gonna end up hitting it. Okay, the earth's starting to go super saiyan. It's a little bit of a problem, sun. The sun is also starting to get pulled out of its little area. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Venus is barely even a measurable speck upon the surface of this gigantic Earth. Yep. We just lost Venus. All right, we're gonna have to go bigger. Okay, we're at 36 million. What the hell just happened to all my radius? It's like losing all the steroids all at once. Oh, 40 million. Oh, the Earth just got vaporized. Okay, Earth, I know we've had our differences, but I have big plans for you this time. I've put you way the hell out away from the sun. This way you're nice and cold, so that when you get big, you don't end up being 2,000 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's working. I got the Earth super far away from the sun. It's starting to come out of its deep freeze. You can see, you know, part of the United States again, which is nice. Africa hasn't been blown up yet. That'll probably change in the next three minutes. All right, Iris just smashed into the earth, but it's fine. That was like, it's like, it's like brushing off a flea. It doesn't even mean anything. There is all kinds of asteroids and stuff just flying everywhere. They've got no place else to go, so they're all abusing the earth. All right, we need to get this radius up. I honestly don't know how at this point. The earth is going back and forth between existing as a real earth and being a frozen earth. Even though it's 288 degrees Celsius, maybe there's some sort of weird climatary thing that's going on down here. The people of Earth have been abused so much that living in 
218 degrees Celsius weather just isn't that bad. Right at around 33 million kilometers in radius, the Earth turns into an absolutely demonic entity. It's just a molten pit of Florida's regrets. You can see the sun trying to run away. It's like, Jesus Christ, no. All right, we can do better. I know we can. Come on now. All right, we're at 40 million. 45. Come on, baby. 5 million, 50 million, 60 Bruh. million. Now what the hell happened? Lost all my size. All the gains went away. All right, let's just sit at 58 million for a second. <laughs> oh my God, the planets are just shooting all over the place. Okay, maybe if I, maybe if I go out by Saturn, a hey, Saturn, on your left, bitch. <laughs> we just killed Saturn. We just killed Saturn and we got shot out from the freaking solar system. Okay, we've managed to get to 101 million kilometers so far. I mean, this, <laughs> this is some serious overcompensating right here when you compare the size of the Earth to everything else. So here's the chart size comparison for everything in the entire solar system. Can you see the sun? It's this sad little pimple over here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I didn't expect that to happen. The earth is now really, really big. Like freakishly big. Like way bigger than I meant to make it. It just... Whoops. Okay. I have what I feel is a big brain idea. I put the Earth farther away from everything in the entire solar system. So now nothing can really screw with it. And we are getting somewhere. Let's check and see if it still follows an orbit. Oh my God. It's totally working. Now to be fair, it does take 1200 years to go around the sun at this point, but it's totally working. It's, uh, it's pretty cold. It's uh, negative 250 degrees Celsius, so no one can live there. But uh, there is a way to fix this. More radius. You got this, Earth. You got this, Earth. Hell yeah. Okay. So far, so good. I think we may have found the golden zone. I think we're at a point where there's no... Damn it. I was going to say, I think we're at a point where there's no limitation to how much bigger the Earth can get. I think you know what has to happen. We have to take our gigantic Earth and then fire it at the solar system at light speed. Speed, 1.2 kilometers per second. <laughs> Rookie numbers, light speed. I don't know how, but my light speed Earth coming at the entire solar system is still kind of looking like an Earth. It's got water and everything. Get it, Earth. Beat that ass. Beat, I don't know what just happened there, but whatever. This is what it looks like from the sun's freaking perspective. This is how big the Earth is. And the Earth is still nowhere near <laughs> the solar system. It still has more to go. That's right, son. You pissed the Earth off for far too long. Now it's coming back for all that crap you made it do. Oh, God. I have no idea. Did the Earth just turn into like a giant piece of powder? Is there anything left? I don't even know if it's still there or if it's all of its mist is just going to coat the entirety of the solar system. Yes. The solar system gets to inhale the broken promises. <laughs> the lost hopes and dreams of the Earth. <laughs> there it goes. And the solar system is still in one piece. Well, we did it. We made Earth way more than one million times its normal size. And I think... I don't know, we're probably better off the way we are. The less Florida man, the better. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.